Hello everyone, it's Becca from Becca Books and Bujo, and it is time to play my deck of TBR game for April. It's nuts that we're four months into the year, but here we are. I am so excited to pick my books for April. If you don't know, in March I did a crazy challenge where I tried to read 31 books in 31 days. I don't know if I've completed it yet, <laughs> but by the time this video comes out, I probably will. I'm at like 23 books finished and it's the 25th of the month, so we could make it. We probably won't, but I've been reading like crazy and it's all been middle grade books. Nothing against middle grade, but I am ready to pick some different books. I have been sticking to a very rigid TBR, books that I know I can complete quickly, and now I'm just ready to read some things that I know will draw me in and keep me really excited to read. So before we jump into what books I will pick for April, let's quickly review how March's deck of TBR went. Uh, this is most of the books I had. I had 10 books on the TBR. I'm missing one. So the first prompt I got was a mood read and for that I chose Sweep, the story of a girl and her monster by Jonathan Oxier and I did complete that. The next book here was for a booktuber's TBR and that is The Mona Lisa Vanishes by Nicholas Day. I am more than halfway through this so I will complete it by the end of the month. Then I had to do last letter to first letter and I chose the book Small Spaces by Katherine Arden. Empty Smiles is just in here as a representation of Small Spaces because I had to return that to the library a long time ago and I did read Small Spaces. Then we got Buzzword and for that I chose The One and Only Ruby by Katherine Applegate. I have The One and Only Ivan here as a placeholder but I did complete Ruby and I loved it. Then I had to randomize my shelves and that picked me piecing together by Renee Watson and I did complete that. Then I had to choose an adaptation and for that I picked Matilda by Roald Dahl and I read that. That was my first book of March and it was a five star. Then I had to pick a book that was less than 250 pages and for that I picked One Crazy Summer by Rita Williams Garcia and I did complete that. Next I got the bomb book and the second bomb book of March's game, March's game was crazy, um, was the Last of the Really Great Wang Doodles by Julie Andrews Edwards. I have not read it yet, but this is going to be my next physical read and I have a whole week left of the month, so I think I should be able to finish it. Then I had to pick a book that I bought used and for that I chose the second in the Land of Stories series by Chris Colfer. This is The Enchantress Returns and I did read that. And lastly, I had to pick a thriller and for that I chose Iceberg by Jennifer A. Nielsen and I did complete that. So if we tally up the points, I technically have finished eight and a half of the books that were on my TBR for March. I'm gonna count it as a win though because I've read 23 books this month already, okay? We can give me credit for those 23 books, I think, and I'm halfway through one of the books on this list and the other one should be a really quick and easy read. So I'm gonna count it as a win, which means for me that I get to pick any book anywhere. If I were to have not completed my TBR, I would have had to stick to books on my shelves. I likely will stick to books on my shelves anyway because there are so many that I'm excited for. But let's finally now get into setting up the board for April. There are just a couple of things we need to add on here. First of all is the bomb book. I really don't want to get a joker this time around, but let's see. This is Purity by Jonathan Franzen. Okay. If you don't know, I read the bomb book if I pick a joker. There are currently two jokers in my deck because one of my prompts, I had to add a joker last month or the month before, I can't remember. So there is a two in 54 chance that I could get the bomb book this month. Next, we need to pick out the face card prompts. These are prompts that do not rotate once the game has started for the month. So we'll have four different ones for Ace, King, Queen, and Jack. For Ace, we'll pick a self-destruct book. which is a list of books I created in November. For the King, we'll do <laughs> Read It or Not, which is a challenge I do monthly on my channel. So I wouldn't pick a book for that today, but it would just allow me to use one of my Read It or Not books as a deck of TBR prompt. Okay, <laughs> for the Queen is a book of the month. I have lots of book of the months I want to read this month. And the Jack, We'll do this one, an adaptation. So 
also a book that has been adapted for the screen in some way. All right, lastly, we just have one prompt on the board that is empty that needs refilling. So we'll pick this one, a book that's more than 400 pages. Great. I am just so excited to figure out what will be on this stack this month. So we might as well get started by shuffling. And we'll draw the first card. A four of clubs. Okay, so this one is like a fun little challenge prompt. It says pick three cards and choose one. So I'll choose the top three cards in the deck. We had a king of clubs, a six of hearts, and a seven of diamonds. So the king of clubs is a read it or not. I don't think I'll choose that, but let's see. Seven of diamonds. Oh, is a book from the year that I was born. I don't want to pick that either. Six of Hearts is a BIPOC author. Okay, so after looking through some of my books, I think I'm going to choose the BIPOC author prompt, Six of Hearts. And so for the BIPOC author prompt, I will choose A Million to One by Adiba Jagadar. Uh, Adiba Jagadar is a Bangladeshi Irish author. And so she fits into the person of color category. And I'm really excited to read this heist that takes place on the Titanic. Okay, so we have two prompts to replace. We'll do the four of clubs with person on the cover and the six with a young adult. We have four cards to put back in the deck <laughs> and we'll shuffle for draw number two. All right, draw number two is another four. Okay, <laughs> so if I draw two numbers right in a row, I have to add another draw. So we will have six draws total for this month. The Four of Spades set in a different country. Does it have to be a real country? <laughs> I'm going to stretch the rules a little bit and say that even if it's a made up country, it is a different country than the United States. And I just really, really want to pick up this book. So this is A Fate Inked in Blood by Danielle L. Jensen. I'm going to say it's kind of set in Norway because it's based on Norse mythology, but also it looks like it's set in a land called Skaland. So I'm going to count it because it's my game and I really want to read this book. So this is going for the prompt set in a different country. We will replace that prompt with this one, two plus people on the cover funny because we just put person on the cover on there <laughs> and we'll put the four of spades back in and shuffle there are so many books I want to read in April that I feel like I could make any of them work for any prompt I get but it's just fun to see oh boy I'm a nerd okay draw number three is a six of hearts <laughs> comical Okay, <laughs> young adult. And we already drew this. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, <laughs> I know what I'm gonna pick. But we are adding a seventh draw. Okay, just my luck. Anyway, for the young adult prompt, I'm going to choose Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. This is a young adult fantasy. You can maybe see a theme here. I'm wanting to read fantasy and romanticy because I want to. <laughs> it's it's pulling at me for some reason. Okay, so this is a story about two young people who are connected via magical typewriters. I'm here for it. I'm gonna try it. This won the best book. No, it didn't win the best YA, but it was like runner up for the best YA in the Goodreads Choice Awards. And I've heard that people love it. So I cannot wait to give it a try. All right, let's replace the Six of Hearts again with my husband's initials need to be on the cover somewhere. That I think was a prompt given by one of you viewers. So thank you, thank you for that. And we'll put the six of hearts back in and never draw it again. <laughs> a 
and shuffle, of course. Shuffle, shuffle. All right, draw number four is an eight of diamonds. Sorry, I don't know if you can see these. My camera, I'm still getting used to my camera. Okay, eight of diamonds is a romance. Yep, 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 yep. I know exactly what book I'm going to pick. For the prompt romance, I'm going to pick Just for the Summer by Abby Jimenez. This is her new release in April, and I just got approved on NetGalley, so I wanted to maybe try to finish it quickly at the end of March, but no way, no how with my March reading. And so I will be reading it in April. This is a romance from Abby Jimenez. That's all you need to tell me for me to want to read it. I love Abby Jimenez's work. And this one takes place in Minnesota as per usual. And it is like a lake summer romance. And that'll just get me into the mood for spring and summer. And I can't wait to read it. We will replace that prompt with this one, a new to me author. And we'll put the Eight of Diamonds back in and shuffle. I'm liking the stack, even though it's going to be a big one. And I don't know if I have many audiobooks for these physical books. Uh, I'm still excited. All right, draw number five is a Ten of Diamonds. Okay, we're getting lots of diamonds, 10 of diamonds. Matches my outfit. Well, I'm wearing a blue shirt with white print that says spread love. Okay, <laughs> I need a blue book or a book about love, spreading love. Okay, maybe it's a stretch, but we're gonna go for it. Shark Heart, a love story by Emily Habeck. It has white text, it has the word heart, and it does say it is an intergenerational love story. We're gonna count it, plus like these colors are pretty together and there is a little bit of this blue on the cover. It matches my outfit, okay? <laughs> All right, let's replace that prompt with this one. A good first sentence. And We'll put the 10 of diamonds back in. We are now on draw number six. And so all of the like rules where I have to add draws are all gone. <laughs> so we'll for sure only have seven pulls, which I'm gonna just need the seven. <laughs> That'll be enough for me. Oops, okay. Here is draw number six, an ace. What is ace? A self-destruct book, okay. That's good because I have not prioritized my self-destruct books at all. So just got to look at my cart quick. So I have like a thriller heist. I have a couple of romantices. I have a romance, contemporary, and romance. So I, I need to diversify. I don't need romance. Don't ask me why, but I went for a nonfiction. <laughs> and this book is called Priest Daddy by... Patricia Lockwood, and I picked this up. I know where I got it. It was at Powell's in Portland, Oregon, and why I chose this book, I had seen it, or I had heard about it on a podcast, and it is about a girl whose dad is a priest, a father, and while my dad is not a priest, he is a pastor, and I feel like this author and I could relate on some levels of having our father as a member of a religious clergy. So I'm gonna try this one. And it has been on my shelves for years, years and years and years. So I'm excited to give it a go. We don't have to replace a prompt because the face card prompts stay on the board. So we will just put the ace back in the deck and shuffle for what will be our last draw. I'm just realizing now I didn't get my book club like that I have with my friends in real life. I didn't get that book on here. So that would be pretty handy. I also don't remember what the buzzword is for April. So hopefully I have a book that fits that. All right, draw number seven, the last draw. Are you kidding me? Well, it doesn't matter, but we've just drawn so many fours this game. Okay, what is the four of hearts? A four plus word title. I spoke it into existence. Oh, well, there's two options. <laughs> a 
I just recently got this book and I really want to read it, <laughs> but I think the smart thing for me to do is to put the book club pick that I was just talking about. This is The Fire, The Water, and Maddie McGinn by Sally J. Pla, and it's a middle grade. I've had a lot of middle grade this month, but this was our choice for uh, my friend's book club, and I'm willing to give it a try. It sounds like it is about a young girl, Maddie McGinn, and she has a secret that her mom has told her to keep from her dad, but she doesn't think she should keep the secret. So it's about that, and I'm looking forward to it. Um, and I always love discussing books with these friends in my book club. So while I really want to read this, maybe I'll still get to it in April or soon, and uh, we will read the Fire, the Water, and Maddy McGinn for the four plus word title. All right, let's review our stack, shall we? So for the first prompt, I had to choose a book by a BIPOC author, and for that I chose A Million to One by Adiba Jagadar. Then I needed a book set in a different country, and I picked A Fate Inked in Blood by Daniel L. Jensen. It's definitely set in a different country, even a different world, but <laughs> we're counting it. Then I had to pick a YA, and for that I chose Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. Next up, I picked a romance, and it's not here because it's not out yet, but this is Just for the Summer by Abby Jimenez. Next up, I had to pick a book that matches my outfit, and in a roundabout way, Shark Heart by Emily Havek matches my outfit. <laughs> then I had to pick a book off of my self-destruct list, and for that I chose Priest Daddy by Patricia Lockwood. And lastly, I had to pick a book with a four plus word title, and I chose The Fire, The Water, and Maudie McGinn by Sally J. Pla. Wow. What a stack, but a stack that I'm really, really excited to dig into. Let me know if you have read any of these books and what you thought of them. I would love to have some bookish conversation with you down below in the comments. Like this video on your way out, consider subscribing to my channel if you are new here and you would like to see more bookish and bullet journaling content from me, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.